Yomye Patris, Ephelia, Spiritus, Santi, Amen, and Trebel, all of Pari Dei. You can make day as a discerning column of them, the gentian on Santa, Bobin, and the court of those who are all in them. Imite Lucham Tum at Berry Totum Tum, Ipsimated of Saran to Dal Saran to Mountain Sampin Tum at Tabernacle at Tua. I did the reason of Tari Day, I did the good to guide you to the path. Compi Tabor TV and Teacher at Deus Deus Meus, Pari Tristis and Sanima Maya, Pari Kinturba to me. Spare the day of Pama, and the heavy salt on you, Spare the day of Deus. Gloria Patri, Filio, Spiritui Sancto. Shivami Deus ex adite frumenti, alleluia, et de tempra mele saturavi Deus, alleluia, alleluia. Exultati Deo ad intori nostre, nostro, jubilate Deo Iaco. Gloria Patria, Filio, Spiritu e Sancto, si fidera in principio, nunc et semper, in cum secula seculorum, amen. Shivami Deus ex adite frumenti, alleluia, et de tempra mele saturavi Deus, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax dominibus boni voluntatis. Laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gratias agimus tibi propter maniam gloriam tuam, Domini Deus rex celestis, Deus pater omnipotens, Domine fili urigente Iesu Christe, Domine Deus anus Dei filius patris, Quit holis peccatum mundi miserere nobis. Quit holis peccatum mundi suscipe deprecationem nostra. Quit seles ad exerem patris miserere nobis. Quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus Iesus Christe, cum sancto spiritus, in gloria Dei patris. Amen. Dominus vobiscum. Spiritus vobiscum. Vorremus. Deus, qui nobis sub sacramentum mirabili passionis tui memoriam rele Christi, tribue quesimus, vita nos corporis et sanguinis tui sacra misteria venerari, ut redemptionis tui fructum in nobis iudicem sensiamus, qui vivis et regnus con Deo Patre in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Lexio Epistole Beati Pauli Apostoli ad Corinthios, Fratres ego enemich, acepi a domino quod et tradici vobis, coniam dominus Iesus, in qua nocte tradevator, acepi panem et gratias agens regi, et tixi, acepite et manucate, hoc est corpus meum quod pro vobis tradetur, hoc facite in mea commemorationem. Similiter et calicem, posquam cenabis dicens, hic calix novum testimonum, 
testamentum est in meo sanguine, hoc facile quotias cumque viveti in mea commemorazione. Quotias cumque edem manu capitis panem hunt et calicem vivetis mortem domine annunciabitis dona et venia. Ita cumque, qui cumque manu cavit panem hunt vel viverit calicem domine in vigne Reus erit corporis et sanguinis domini, probet altem se ipsum homo et site pano, pane illo edat et de calice vivat, qui ene manducat et vivet in vigne, judicium sibi manducat et vivit, non dicans orcus domini. Obli omnium in se sperant domine, et tutas illis estam in tempore opportuno, aperis tu manum tuam, et inflet omne anima benedictione. Alleluia, alleluia, caro mea, vere es cibus, et sanguinis meus vere es potus, qui manducat meam cardem, et vivit meum sanguinem, in me manet, et ego in ego. Laura sion salvatorem, laura ducem et pastorem, in hymnis et canticis. Quantum potes tantum laude, quia maior omni laude, nec laudare supicis. Laudis tema specialis, panis vivus et vitalis, odie proponitor. Quimin sacre mense cene, turbe fratrum duodene, datum non ambigitor. Sit laus plena, sit sonora, sit iucunda, sit decora, Mentis jubilatio. Dies enim solemnis aditor, in qua mense prima recolitor, quius institutio. In hac mensa nova regis, novum paste nova legis, fase vetus terminat. Vetus statem novitas, umbram fuga veritas, notem lux eliminat. Por in cena Christus jesit, faciendum hoc expressit in sui memoria. Docti sacris institutis panem vidum in salutis consecramus ostia. Dogma dator Christianis, quod in partem transit panis et vidum in sanguinem. Quod non capis, quod non vides, animosa firmat fides, preter rerum ordinem. Su diversi speciebus, sinius tantum et non rebus, latent res ex vinie. Caro cibus sanguis potus, manet tamen Christus totus sub ultra quae specie. Assumente non concisus, non contratus non divisus, integer acibitur. Sumut unus sumut mille, quantum iste tantum mille, nec sumtus consumitur. Sumunt boni, sumunt mali, sorte tamen inequali, vitae vel interitus. Mort est malis vita bonis, Vide paris sumpsionis, quam si dispar exitus. Fracto demum sacramento, ne vaciles sed momento, tantum esse suffragmento, quantum toto tegitur. Nulla rei fit scisura, sini tantum fit fractura, qua non status nec stratura, signati munuitur. Ece panus angelorum, facus citus viatorum, Vere panis filiorum non mitetus panibus. In figuris presignator cum Isaac imulator, anius pasque deputator dator mana patribus. Bone pastor, panis vere, Iesu nostri miserere. Tu nos pace, tu nos tuere, nos tuere, tu nos bona facidere, in terra vivensium. Tu qui punta scis et vales, qui non paci sic mortales, Tuos ibi commensales, coeredes et sodales, pax santorum civilum. Amen. Alleluia.
Kriman Dukat Mayam Karknam, et Vidit Mayam Sanguinem in Me Manet, et Ego in Ilo. Sigrid Visis Me Vivens Pater, et Ego Vivo Propia Patrem, et Kriman Dukat Me, et Hitse Vivet Propia Me. Hikas Panis Quide Celo Descendit, non Sigrid Mandu Caverunt Patres Vesri Mana, et Mortui Sunt, Kriman Dukat Hunt Panem, Vivet in Eternum.
typology and images, and you have to kind of put them all together. St. Thomas has done it for us beautifully in these prayers. And one example of that is the collect that we heard. I want to read it for you in English, the opening, the first prayer that, that I prayed over there. O oh God, who under a wonderful sacrament has left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we beseech you, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may ever feel within us the fruit of thy redemption. So in this prayer, we see there are these, the, there, it's a twofold structure. There's a bit of a preamble, and then there's a petition. So the preamble, O God, who under a wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion. We see, St. Thomas tells us, that in the Eucharist, it's not just a memorial meal that we celebrate. It's not just a festal banquet that we celebrate, although it is certainly that, right? You go on, right? Sacrum convivium, O sacred feast. But in this, in what we do here, in this wonderful sacrament that the Lord left us on the night before he died, he has given us a, very, a memorial of his passion. To truly understand that, we have to understand the Jewish sense of the word memorial. It's not just a memory. It's not just so on Grandpa's anniversary of his passing, we gather together, we have a meal in memory of him, we might even put up a picture of him, maybe even light a candle next to him. And that's a, we would remember our grandfather who's passed away at that time. That's not what we do here by having a meal with candles in front of an image of the person who's passed away. No, Mass is not just a memorial in that sense. In the Jewish sense of memorial, by remembering something that the Lord had done, we are made present to the very realities that happened. If you look at the Seder meal, so there's a very highly ritualized practice to this, and you would find it in the Haggadah that outlines what would happen. That the youngest child would ask the father of the family, why is this night different from every other night? Why do we sit reclining? Why do we dip our herbs in the water? Why do we only eat unleavened bread? And the father of the family would reply, this is the night when we pass dry shod through the Red Sea, when we who were slaves in Egypt were freed by the Lord. With outstretched hand and arm, he liberated us. That language that the Jewish believers would have said is not, this is the night when we remember what the Lord did for our ancestors 3,000 years ago. Notice that this is the night when we were liberated from Egypt. This is the night when we passed dry shod through the Red Sea. Through that ritual action, they are mystically transported back to the events of their salvation. This is the Jewish concept of a memorial. And so our Lord, who on the night of his passion, took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his apostles, took a chalice filled with wine, blessed, gave it to his disciples to drink, and then said, do this in memory of me. That word memory is charged with not our meaning of memory, but with that Jewish concept of memory. And so by us who come here in this, great sacrament which the Lord has left us, we have a memorial of his passion. <clears throat> that we aren't brought back to the upper room. You and I are brought to the foot of the cross. That the mass that we celebrate is the sacrifice of Christ on Calvary, presented to us, made present for us. We are made present at this reality. St. Thomas is pretty dense, right? He packs that all into just one phrase. So that's the preamble. So that's what sets us up. So now we are at this ritual memorial meal that's really a sacrifice. It's really the memorial of the passion of the Lord. Then we come to the petition. Grant, we beseech thee, that we might venerate the mysteries of his body and blood, that we might always possess the fruits of our redemption. Right, by Christ's passion and death on the cross, we have been saved. We have been redeemed. Indeed, on Holy Thursday, the introit is that we glory, we should glory in the cross of Christ, in which we are saved, in which we are set free, in which we are redeemed. So we see that this sacrifice has an effect for us. It's called to bear fruits in our lives. Just as at that Seder meal, the Jewish people would say, this is the night when we were liberated. 
when we pass dry shod through the Red Sea. This is the feast. This is the sacrament. This is the mass. When we recall what Christ did 2,000 years ago on a hill outside of Jerusalem has an effect for us. It's the feast by which we are free. It's this passion. It's his death by which our sins are forgiven now because of what he had done 2,000 years ago. And so our prayer is that we might venerate these sacred mysteries, the mysteries of his body and blood that he left for us, so that the fruits of that redemption, that, that forgiveness, that mercy we might possess, not just here in these minutes, but always. The word that St. Thomas used was venerate, that we might venerate the mystery of the body and blood of Christ in such a way, in such a manner, that those fruits might be ours always. That veneration, though, is not just an appreciation. It's, okay, I value the gift of the sacrament of the Eucharist, or I value what the Lord has done. So it's not just a mere appreciation of this, that veneration that we're called to have in such a way that the fruits would always be ours. It's not just a matter of showing up. Well, I'm here on Sunday. Doesn't that show that I have a healthy respect? You might remember earlier in the year, uh, the Pew Center, the Pew Research Center, put out a study and told Catholics, you know, and one of the questions, now, the question wasn't phrased, it wasn't the best phrased question, and so there was room for some confusion in interpreting the answer. But one interpretation um, taken to the, you know, I think the worst interpretation, but that can be interpreted in that way at all, is problematic, was that 70% of Catholics do not acknowledge the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. Now, like I said, there were some problems with the question. There was, a, I can't remember exactly what it was, but, you know, is it just a symbol or is it a, a symbol, I think is how I put it. And the Eucharist is a symbol. All sacraments are symbols, but they're not just symbols. They're symbols that convey, that contain, and confer the sacramental reality. But 70% is a huge number that don't acknowledge it. So you and I who are here today, I think on this feast of Corpus Christi, are invited to ask ourselves that question, in what way are we venerating the most holy body and blood of our Lord? Are we doing it in such a way that the fruits of his redemption are made present to us? That we're able to contain, that we're able to possess that redemption that he won for us on Calvary? Or do we just go through the motions? That, that veneration that we're called to have before this most august sacrament implies that we would have a proper disposition of our mind and our heart whenever we come to Mass, whenever we come into church and adore the Lord present in the tabernacle or exposed in the monsters. It presupposes that we are uniting ourselves to what's going on on the altar. Right? What... Just before the preface, the priest turns, he says, Orate fratres, and then he turns back. The rest of that prayer is that, Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. The priest's sacrifice is the sacrifice of Christ, because the priest in the moment of the Mass is standing in the person of Christ, the high priest. But notice, that's not the only sacrifice that's offered on that altar. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours, that the sacrifices of our lives are meant to be united to Christ in such a way that they take on eternal value precisely because they're united to his. That you and I are uniting our hearts and our minds. Indeed, at, just at the beginning of the Eucharistic prayer, the priest prays, Sorsum corda, lift up your hearts. That this isn't meant to be something that we just attend that we do our own prayers at. But the Mass is something we are meant to be so tuned into that we are truly venerating the Lord in such a way that we're truly appreciating and valuing the mystery of His body and blood that we have this great privilege to be present at that for how many weeks weren't able to be present at. Now that we are here, we call, pray that the Lord that we might venerate this great sacrament in such a way that what He did for us 
might be ours. So on this day, let us pray. Let us pray for a greater devotion to the Blessed Sacrament on our, from our own hearts, from the hearts of all the world, that the most blessed sacrament might be, in the words of that prayer, praise, adored, and loved, grateful affection, at every moment, in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of time. We pray that we might be part of that, that we offer reparation for the time that our Lord is ignored in the blessed sacrament, that we offer thanksgiving for this great gift that we have an opportunity to be present at today. This is Calvary itself that you and I are present at. That our Lord once again renews his love for us and extends to us the fruits of that redemption. May we venerate this great mystery in such a way that the fruits of that redemption might be ours this day and always. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Dominus Valdiscum, Sorsum Corda, Gracias Ebamus Domino Dea Nostro, Veregidium et Justum et Secum et Salutare Nostri, Semper et Duplique Gratias Ate, Domine Sancti et Pater Omnipotens et Cerfne Deus, Per Christum Dominum Nostrum, Per Quem Maestatem Tuam Laudant Angeli, Adorant Dominationes, Tremum Potestates, Celi Celorum Que Virtutes, At Beata Serifim Socia et Totazione Concelebrat, Cum quibus et nostras voces, ut ad niti iubeas de precamor, supplice confessione dicentes. Sanctus, 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 Domnus Deus Tavo, plenitus sitni et terra gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. Nobis quoque peccatoribus.
pero me aseguro la aseguro no. Oremos precipitados a los maridos moniti en divina institución y formati al demos dicere. Pater nostra qui es in cieli, santifice cor nomen tuum. Advenia regnum tuum, via voluntas tua sicut in cielo et in terra. Pana nostrum quotidiano da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione.
Melvi Berry, Tali Chum Domine, and Vinye, Reus Eri, Portraits, and Sanguinis Domine. Alleluia. Dominus Hobiscum, Oremus. Fat nos ways mus Domine, Divinitatis Sue Sempi Terra, Prozione Regleri. Quam preciosi corporis et sanguinis sui temporalis per sceptio prefigura, qui vivit et regnas cum Deo Pate in unitate Christi Sancti Deus per omnia secula seculorum. Dominus Vobiscum, Ite Misa Est. Benedictat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Dominus Vobiscum, Initium Sancti Evangelii Secundum Iovanem. In principio era verbum, et verbum era da Deum, et Deus era verbum. Hoc erat in principio apud Deum. Omnia per ipsum facta sunt et sine ipsum factum est niho quod factum est. In ipso vita erat, et vita erat lux hominum, et lux in tenebris lucet, et tenebrae am non comprendebu. Cui domo missus a Deo, cui nomen erat Giovannes. Hic venit in testimonium, ut testimonium per liberet e lumine, ut omnes crederet per illum. Non erat ille lux, sed et testimonium per liberet e lumine. Erat lux vera quae illuminat omnem hominem venientem in hunc mundum. In mundo erat mundus per ipsum factus es, et mundus eam non coniobi. In propria venit et sui em non receprunt, quod quod altem receprunt eo, dedi deus potestatem, filius dei fieri. Is qui credunt in nomine eius, qui non ex sanguinibus, neque colutate carpnis, neque colutate viri, sed ex deo nati sunt. Et verbum caro factum est, et habitavit in nobis, et vidimus gloria meus, gloriam quasi unigenitia patre, plenum gratia et veritatis. Now, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Now, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Now, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry for the bed and children of Eve. To thee we send up our sighs and mourning, we weep and devout these tears. Turn them to the grace that I have and I have sent mercy towards us. But after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, look down with favor upon thy people who cry to thee. Through the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of blessed Joseph, her spouse, of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the saints, do thou mercifully and graciously hear the prayers which we pour forth for the conversion of sinners, for the freedom and exaltation of Holy Mother Church, through the same Christ our Lord, St. Michael the Archangel, and the Son of God, the Lord. Heart of Jesus, the most sacred heart of Jesus, the most sacred heart of Jesus. Prayer in times of epidemics. Deal not with us, Lord, according to our sins. Help us, O God, our deliverer. Remember not, O Lord, our sins of old. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. O Lord, hear my prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Vouchsafe to hear us, O God, our only salvation. And through the intercession of the glorious and blessed Mary, Mother of God and ever Virgin, of thy blessed martyr Sebastian and of all the saints, deliver thy people from the terrors of thy wrath and restore their confidence by the outpouring of thy compassion. Be moved to pity, O Lord, at our earnest entreaty, and heal the illnesses of body and soul, so that experiencing thy forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in thy blessing. 
We beseech you, O Lord, grant us a hearing as we devoutly raise our petitions to thee, and graciously turn away the epidemic of plague which afflicts us, so that mortal hearts may recognize that these scourges proceed from thine indignation, and cease only when thou art moved to mercy. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. 